Take a look at this as we're watching people running. Oof. Just um, gives you chills seeing these students running one after another after another out of this um, out of this school. Steve, can you see what I'm seeing? Uh, no, Brooke, I'm, I'm on a uh, on a landline. We're seeing these students run. So I think to your point earlier, they're trying to clear out the the perimeter, the classes away from the cafeteria to keep these students safe. And they're likely trying to somehow communicate, oftentimes via text message or email, to parents of these students to go to X location. As soon as we get that information for you, parents, we'll pass it along to you. But Steve, again, the priority of the, the law enforcement, as we saw them walking back and forth, they're trying potentially to find the shooter. Yeah, Brooke, it's, it's a priority at this point. Uh, we, we already have two injured. And, and certainly they don't want any more casualties. So they're going to be very meticulous. And, and again, if they have him uh, secured, if they have him separated, or if they have additional information that we don't know of, uh, uh, their priority is to remove those students and, and ensure their safety. We have a little bit more uh, if you're joining us here and we're reporting on this school shooting in this uh, high school. This is just north of Seattle. And we have, a, this is according to phone calls we have been making a student currently inside Marysville Pilchuck High School that's the name of the school is telling CNN that a shooting happened okay again so this is second corroboration happening inside the cafeteria initially the students thought it was a fire drill until teachers told everyone to run into the classrooms because of an active shooting this student is currently on lockdown inside of a classroom with other students and all of these students are unharmed. You can see a number of students outside of the school, but for some of these students, they are on lockdown in individual classrooms. She, the student says at least one victim has been airlifted via helicopter. Again, we saw reports that it was two students. This is way too early um, to know concretely how many, to, to be honest. But according to this one student, she says she saw one student airlifted to a heli uh, via helicopter to a hospital. She believes multiple people have been shot.